Did you just get into van life? Are you thinking about getting into that van life? You're gonna need electricity. I'm running a single 100 watt solar panel and one battery and for the most part it's good enough for me but there have been instances where I was low on electricity like the last time I was low on electricity is when I camped out in the forest I was parked under some trees so my solar didn't recharge obviously I'm parked in the shade so it didn't recharge so I got this for backup electricity a solar panel solar system minimal is going to run you about $225 to get up and running a jump box like this this is from Harbor Freight Santec 4-in-1 jump box this is $65 with the coupon will you be able to run this as your primary power I would say if you're just into road trips if you're a full timer then you're gonna need solar but in terms of a road trip will this be enough like I said I got this for backup power so I'm gonna go ahead and test it right now see what kind of uh, charge this has what kind of uh, capacity it has 12.8 volts and according to this 12.6 around 12.6 is a hundred percent so it's fully charged my girlfriend got this for me for Christmas haven't tried it out yet but I will right now for this test I'm gonna play some video games got the turbo graphic 16 mini running on my TV right now it's plugged into the solar and it's running at 80 watts I'm gonna plug it into the jump box right now just to share a few running watt accessories this is my space cooler so on low setting two watts now it's zero it's not even registering that's low setting here's middle setting 18 watts 42 watts 38 watts okay now we'll go to the highest setting 78 watts on the highest setting doesn't even register on the lowest setting 2 watts and then it'll go to 0 and then 16 46 40 40 watts in the middle setting and that's why my electricity is important to me that's why I like having power for my space cooler I sleep in my van versus sleeping in a hotel and then here's my lamp right here that's connected to the inverter all right one more here's my laptop plugged in 96 watts that's another reason I like having electricity keep my laptop charged up so that one's almost 100 watts okay I'm gonna test out the jump box now this has two 12 volt sockets and to get household plugs I have this right here 120 watts max the TV and turbo graphics mini was running at 80 so this should be enough we'll find out right now so here it is household plug I'm gonna plug it into the 12 volt socket 12.62 volts power inverter is plugged into the jump box so I have a household plug right here TV plugged in turbo graphics 16 mini let's go ahead and turn on the TV watch the voltage drop so this should stop getting power at about 11.1 .1 volts so we'll see how long this lasts the time is 428 let's see how long this lasts off 80 watts this is about an 80 watt setup right here and there's the mini here's one of the reasons why I wanted one blazing lasers and then let's see 
settings, release, select games. Hold on, let me see if the game I really want's in here. Here it is. So if you have a real console, this game is like $400, probably more now. But now I finally get to play this one. And then let's see right here. Here's another game I really want to play, Bonk's Revenge. Yeah, this has like 40 games. I'm going to start off with this one right here. Alright, I'm just going to play some video games today while I test this out. If you're into retro gaming and you're into the NES, Super NES, or Sega Genesis, you need one of these. I'm playing each game for about a minute or two just to check everything out, and this game caught my attention. I like the startup too. It actually virtually inserts a game, but the music in this game is great. I'm just gonna let the music play for a few moments here. But this is the winner right here. This one caught my attention. Yeah, I can't play one-handed. I'll just <laughs> do the best I can. Like, cool power-ups in this game, too. That's the fun part about these games. Let me grab one. There it is, see? Alright, you get the idea. So, yeah, I only had one of these briefly. Got it at the swap meet way back in 2000 and then sold it a couple months later made a decent profit but now the original hardware of these is getting up there in price along with the games so I'm really happy to have this 40 games built in so now I have this in my van anytime I feel like playing some retro games when you choose a CD based game it virtually loads up a CD that's really cool. Great presentation on this thing. I'm enjoying it a lot. Figuring out what everything is as I play through all the games. This thing's a lot of fun. There's about a dozen games on here that I really, really like that I'm going to spend a lot of time with. Here's the original Bonk's Adventure. It's just in Japanese. They have Bonk's Revenge, which is Bonk 2, but here it is. Here's the original one. I always liked Bonk more than Sonic and Mario. Great music. Now I finally get to spend more time with this game. I had it briefly, like I said. But this was a mascot for the TurboGrafx-16. This is a surprise game right here. Really enjoying this one. I figured out how to change the wallpaper. It had a goofy wallpaper. But I went to the settings and there's a plain wallpaper so now it looks better. Yeah, this one's good. I'm gonna be playing this one a lot. Okay, time. 6.48 started this at I think 4.28 so a little more than two hours 11.97 volts I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off turning it off now and then the volts are gonna spike back up a little bit there you go I'm gonna unplug the power inverter yeah it's warm but not hot the voltage might go up even a little more when I unplug the inverter yeah. So a little more than two hours and it looks like I still had a lot of life left. I probably could have went another two, three hours. So five hours at about 80 watts. So you're not going to run 80 watts I'm guessing. Like I said this is mainly, I'm, I have this mainly for my space cooler. So let me go ahead and plug in the space cooler right now and see how much this voltage drops. 12.23 right now. So at 80 watts, 
I did a little more than two hours, like two hours in 15 minutes, almost two hours and 30 minutes. So space cooler is plugged directly to the 12 volt socket. So on low setting, it doesn't even register. It's like two watts. So there you go. Like a 0.5 volt drop in voltage. And then we'll go middle setting. Middle setting's about 45 watts, 40 watts. And then the highest setting is about 80 watts, like my TV and the Turbo Graphics Mini. Okay, and then this thing has a it has USB plugs right here. There's a USB plug. It has one USB plug, so that could be to charge your phone. USB plugs, they don't draw that much power. Maybe, maybe five watts at most. And then this has a light. Where is it? Now, should let's unplug this. And then here's a little test button. So yeah, at about 80 watts, it looks like it has 5 hours, so if you're running low watts like a space cooler and you're like in the middle setting, this should do like 10 hours easy. So where's the test button? Right here. So it's still on yellow, so I press the test buttons on yellow, and then here's the light right here. So it looks like it has decent capacity. Okay, I'm going to share something else with you guys right now. If you're new to van life or thinking about getting into it, I recommend solar. A single 100 watt panel and a single battery is a pretty good setup. It's always good to have more. I would love to run four panels and four batteries, but one has been enough. More is always better. But like I said, I only almost ran out of power once and that's camping out in the woods using my space cooler and charging up all my stuff so that situation made me get this jump box and it's always cool to have a jump box and this also has a air compressor so even if I do use this as backup power I'm not gonna run it on empty and that's why I stopped this experiment at two hours and some change 80 watts is a lot. You don't want to run 80 watts off of this all the time, but just for charging up a laptop or charging up some of your electronics or maybe running a fan or some sort of space cooler. This is a good primary if you aren't a full-time van lifer, if you're just a road trip person like me. This might tide you over for a while and, you know, like I said, it's only $65. The plug cost me 20. So you could get started on your power for $85 versus around $225 to start up on solar. But now I have my solar. Now I have this for backup. I might even pick up another one of these. I probably should do another solar panel, but this is a lot cheaper. You know, keep one of my jump boxes charged at all times and then just have another one for backup. And here, here's another thing right here. So obviously you can't plug this directly to a wall so this came with a plug actually where is it at right here so this plugs into the back right here this was included and then I could, if I do use this let's say I do use this for backup power and then once my solar is fully charged like it is right now I could charge this up with my solar with my solar battery and it's only 30 watts the fans not even kicking on on the inverter and there it is it's charging up right now so there you go guys if you want a cheap alternative for power a temporary source of power this is pretty decent it has decent capacity and like I said for me it's just backup power I always like having my space cooler running when I'm parked, so you know, that's, that's why I like having power, keep comfortable in my van. And then like I said, it has a USB port right there, and then with the, um, where is it at, where did I put it, it's 
back there somewhere. And then with the power inverter, you know, you could use your household plug. All right, guys. Hope you found this helpful.